Egypt has long been called the gift of the Nile. Without the Nile River, Egypt might not exist. But now the Nile River in Egypt is under threat. Extreme heat, rising sea levels, and a major dam project is putting a strain on the river and the people who depend on it for survival. Egypt could be less than two years away from running out of water. To date, folks have never actually went to war just because of water. Now, we could be the point in history where that changes. The Nile River, considered one of the longest rivers in the world, flows upstream from Lake Victoria through 11 countries, eventually draining into the Mediterranean Sea through Egypt. Around 90% of Egypt's annual consumption of water comes directly from the Nile. So any disruption to the, that water source, that primary water source to Egypt, is, is very problematic. Because of a soaring population and recurring droughts, Egypt is already below the United Nations water poverty threshold. By 2025, Egypt will be categorized as a nation with absolute water scarcity, as it is estimated to reach below 500 cubic meters of water per person, in part because of rising sea levels. Extreme heat is reducing the amount of water available. At the same time, salt water from rising sea levels are impacting water quality. The sea is rising in the Mediterranean Sea, and the land is sinking in the Nile Delta. And as a result, the Nile Delta becomes the second most susceptible place on Earth to climate change impacts in terms of sea level rise. Since ancient Egyptian civilization, the Nile has long been called the breadbasket of Egypt, where the country relies on the Delta as a food source. Sea level rise has caused 15% of Egypt's most fertile farmland to be damaged. People living along the coast, uh, homes, residences, so forth, are at risk of, of being submerged at some level. Uh, the Delta itself is Egypt's primary agricultural hub. So a lot of farming land, uh, which is along the coast, is now at risk of being lost. Another major factor impacting Egypt's water supply is the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The dam has been part of a decade-long dispute involving Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia. While studies have shown that dams play a key role in limiting sea level rise, Egypt and Sudan fear the speed the dam is being filled at will reduce its already dwindling water supply. Ethiopia needs it for electricity, where half of its population lacks it. The dam is expected to make Ethiopia a major power exporter in the region. And it really depends on how fast the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is being uh, filled. This will determine the impact of um, this, the disruption and the reduction to the volumes of water that go, that go to Egypt. It is essential to realize that this mega dam, which is Africa's largest hydropower facility, potentially threatens the welfare, the well-being, and the existence of millions of Egyptians and Sudanese citizens. Tensions are high, but with the dam nearly completed and Egypt already being highly vulnerable to the effects of climate change, the country has acknowledged the need for a solution to its water shortage. Egypt has proposed water saving efforts from desalination plants to sewage treatment systems. Even though tensions are high and disagreements are high and people are not necessarily on the same page, I believe there will come a point where um, some level of cooperation has to happen because there is no other alternative. The, the biocapacity, the water, um, and the moderate climate are really the basis of establishing any human settlement and, and any civilization. It's, it's at the very heart of why Egypt exists. It's why the ancient Egyptian civilization happened and why Egypt continues to be the place it is today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.